Hi everyone, and welcome to a uh, quick little tutorial on how to speed flip on keyboard and mouse. The general mechanic is executed by uh, diagonal flipping and then canceling that diagonal flip. Now, the way we flip cancel is by flipping forward and then just pressing S. Those are the two prereq mechanics, diagonal flipping and flip canceling a forward flip. If you can do that on keyboard and mouse, you can speed flip. Just combine the two, diagonal flip, hold S, and that's the speed flip. It's not pretty because it wasn't executed quickly, but this should be your first few speed flips. The faster you slide your finger down the S, the cleaner it'll be. Now, the way you make this look even cleaner is you need to continue the car's roll. If you notice how I'm landing on my side, like my left side wheels when I flip to the right, that's because my flip isn't flipping me far enough to make my car fully roll over. So the way I account for that is I hold shift, and then I do the mechanic. And that rolls my car fully over. Because my shift is both my uh, power slide and my air roll. And because of that, it gives me better control on the ground. It's more forgiving because I'm holding power slide. And then I also write my car faster because I'm holding power slide. And that's how you execute the mechanic in general. Now, some niche aspects of the mechanic that I've noticed while playing on keyboard and mouse is the timing for when you release S. So the time, learning the timing for when you release S is both important for uh, aerial plays, where you need to do a, a speed flip to kind of keep your car in line with the ball. But it's also important um, for uh, kickoffs because depending on when you release S, uh, you can change the angle your nose is going to land at uh, when you reach the ball. So, how does releasing S affect your car? Well, there's a really simple way to remember this. If you're, and you're going to get a feel for this, this is a feeling, not a checklist that you follow in your mind. Um, but for now, just to understand it, I'll explain it. If you flip to the right with a speed flip, and you hold S for a long period of time, your car nose will point away from the flip direction. So if I'm flipping to the right and I hold S for a long time, my nose points away from where I flipped. If I release S early, it does the exact opposite. So flipping to the right, releasing S early in the speed flip, points my nose in the direction of the flip. So an early release points it in the direction of the flip, a late release points it away. Um, ah. Late release, early release points it towards, Late release points it away. Uh, and that applies in the same exact way with a left flip. Early uh, early release points it towards the flip. Late release points it away. Eh. Late release points it away. And the faster you execute that at, the more you can notice it. See how my nose points away from the flip versus with an early release, my nose points towards the flip. Um, yeah, that's the really niche aspect of the mechanic. And that's really the fundamental key of it, is the timing of when you're releasing S as you flip towards the ball. If you release S at the wrong time, you're going to land the ball incorrectly, which is going to make it really awkward. And it's a feeling, not something you can just kind of know how to do. So give yourself time to create that feeling. And the way you're going to do that is mainly by just flipping around the field, getting more comfortable with getting your nose pointed before you want it to go. The more you do it, the better you'll be at it pretty much how, how all things work in life. Um, so yeah, I hope that helps. I hope that made sense to you. If there's any other mechanics uh, you would like to see me do or make a video on, leave a comment. Uh, and then just to also talk about what, whether you feel like you're actually accomplishing the speed flip or not, you can always go to uh, your training here. I should have done go to uh, your custom training and then I'll share this in the description musty speed flip kickoff test this lets you uh, know whether you're actually ex executing the flip and the reason I'm making this video is because I saw spook Luke talk about uh, speed flipping and how you have to not flip at a 45 well uh, my my boys or brothers or sisters whatever my fellow KBM players we can only flip on a 45 so he he's not right with that it's an old video i think so whatever i don't i don't care but uh we can only flip on either a 45 degree axis 
four, well, a 45 degree vector or a 135 degree vector. So a left flip is 45, a right flip is 135. And I'm bad at flipping to the right because I do not, I don't have that feeling down for when to release S when I'm flipping to the right versus flipping to the left. Also, I'll keep messing up. Um, but this is a speed flip. I'm just kind of not executing it right. I think it's because I'm releasing S too early. I'm also not air rolling over enough to land back at the ball. And you can see how this is going to take time to feel out. And it could be frustrating uh, to try and do this right away. That's why I recommend you just look around the field before you really practice this. Uh, I can do it to the left basically every time almost. And even I'm not doing it perfectly. Even though I really should be. Um, there's a couple reasons you might not be getting it every time as well. And one of those is when you start the... Um, when you start the kickoff here, if you're holding boost when you start, you'll never reach this ball, even if you execute the uh, flip perfectly. Um, so yeah, no matter what I do, I'll just never reach this ball, as long as I'm holding boost when the actual training starts. Put yourself land, then you flip for it, then you get the touch. Then you get a cool touch and get a goal. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. Sorry about that. Um, if there's any other things you'd like me to talk about or show, leave a comment. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like or subscribe. I make Rocket League content infrequently. Um, so, yeah, I'll see you around. See you guys.